Ah, Riviera. This is perfect. I was looking for you as well. Really? Yes. I wanted to talk with you about a number of things that have been left unfinished since we met. You probably sought me out to do the same, right? Uh, yeah. It's funny that I would spend so much time with you and still not know basic things about you. For example, what kind of food do you like? Well, I prefer food that tastes... Really? I must admit I'm a little surprised. I favor cooking that brings out the natural flavor of the ingredients. That's the kind of food I like as well. The subtlety of flavor is what I appreciate the most. Well, I'm definitely not a gourmet, so I doubt I appreciate food the way you obviously do. But why are we even talking about this? I thought you wanted to talk about important things, not food. Oh! Yes, right. I just wanted to know what you like to eat. Um, in case I was to cook a meal for you. For me? Yes. Would you eat it if I cooked one? Riviera, I'd be honored. Good. Then I'll ask Olivia to teach me how to cook. Wait, you, you mean... You mean to say that you've never cooked before? Shouldn't you have practiced a little before making this offer? As long as you're willing to eat what I've cooked, it doesn't matter, right? Yeah, but when I agreed to do that, I, I, I didn't know. I'll try not to make it too terrible. I guess my life is in your hands now. Ah, Wayne, here you are. King Elliot has summoned you back to the castle. What's wrong? I suppose we'll soon find out. The internal control is complete. We've cleared the way to the top floor. You may proceed at will. Excellent. Isn't it ironic? The control tower that guided us to this land so long ago is poised to save humanity once more. And this time, I shall lead the way to a new world of peace. Wait! 
Wayne, how unexpected. Max, I must know what you intend to do in the control tower. I intend to achieve my ultimate goal of removing conflict from this fragile world. To lead us all to a new era of peace. You betrayed us to follow your own ambition. How can peace spring from treachery? There was no other way. You intend to use the mask, don't you? Ah, so you do know. Any further explanation is unnecessary, then. I've learned the secret of harnessing the mask's power. With it, I will forbid all conflict. Erase all hatred. It shall be the dawn of a new era. The world I have worked so hard to achieve since we attended the Academy will finally be a reality. And you will be at my side in this noble endeavor, right? Max, I can't be a party to this madness. Perhaps you can control the minds of all the people in the world, but what kind of world would be left? A world like that would not be worth living in. I have grown sick of watching people maim and kill one another. If a world of brainwashed masses will solve that, so be it. He's made up his mind. The only way to stop him will be by force. I will do it if it's too difficult for you. No. I am sworn to protect Bernstein, and this is my duty. I will not back down just because I face a friend who's lost his mind. Minister, go now. While I yet breathe, I will hold them back. Very well. <laughs>